Hello everybody, my name is Robert and this is Review Clue. Today we have the Willful Smartwatch. This smartwatch retails for about £30 on Amazon. Let's go ahead and get straight into the unboxing. On the back you'll see a lot of the features this thing has. Sleep tracking, uh, notifications, heart rate monitors and everything in between. The box itself is pretty well represented, but let's see and open it up and find out exactly what you get on the inside. On the inside, you do of course get quite a lot of paperwork, a happy and not happy sticker. This thing tells you what to do whether you are happy or not happy with your order. You also receive a little quick start guide for how to charge this thing, it's basically a magnetic charger. It also tells you just how to remove the strap, it's really really simple and I'll do it a little bit later. You also do get an instruction manual, but it's a smartwatch, you really don't need that. Here is the aforementioned charger, which is just a USB on one end and that magnetic clip on the other. And you do of course get the smartwatch itself. Let's take a closer look at the device. So here is the device in all of its glory. You do of course get that lovely kind of just plasticky sports strap. There is one button on the side and you can definitely tell just where they got their design cues from and I'll go into that a little bit later as well. It's quite slim and form form factor, there's simply one button on the side and that's it. Let's take our screen protector off and take a look at those gorgeous, gorgeous bezels. Um, these are big chunky bezels and especially when the screen's on will you notice them. So there we are with the screen on and uh, this strap it actually feels quite sturdy. I feel like it's not going to break, it's not going to fall off anytime soon. The screen is fairly decent, it's uh, just an LCD display, nothing particularly impressive about it. But here's the strap. This strap is really giant, kind of generic, you can buy these things on Amazon everywhere. If you want a metal one, you could probably get a metal one. Literally just clip it in and clip it out again, like so. So here we are on my iPhone and this is the Very Fit Pro app. This is the app you're going to be using to actually interface with the watch. It's of course going to ask for a lot of kind of notifications and features and that's fine. You can accept them or not accept them, that's completely up to you. The setup process itself was super simple. I turned on my Bluetooth, it found the band, I hit OK and then hit proceed and it was paired. That was it. And then set up my account for my when I was born, my age, my height, all of that kind of stuff. And it was really, really simple. Once all that was done, I could also set some targets for sleep, for walking, and that's really the app. We'll explore it maybe a little bit more later. Let's get back to the watch and its features. So of course on the back you do get that lovely heart rate sensor and that's pretty cool, we'll get into that a little bit later, but we'll also take a look at the watch itself. Pressing the side button once will turn on the screen, and swiping down from the home page will give you the amount of steps you've taken, how far you've walked, how many calories you've burnt that day, and a weekly total for all of that. Swiping to the left will bring you to kind of a, a quick panel where you can turn on automatic heart rate, like so. Turn on do not disturb mode, wrist mode, uh, wake wrist mode, and a find my phone function. That function's turned off, it can be turned on in the app. Swiping to the right will open your apps panel. You have things here like sports and relax. Relax was quite an interesting feature for me. It's a little bit like the Apple Watch with its breathe. It simply vibrates on your wrist, telling you when to inhale and exhale. And that's quite nice. I don't haven't seen many smartwatches doing that these days. But it's definitely a real thing that should be looked at with um, wellness. So you can just cancel that and stop anytime you need to. When you swipe up, we've also got music controls, timers, sport records, and others. Let's go on to that heart rate and get it on my wrist. Now I've got the watch on my wrist. You can see on the left, my heart rate currently, and on the right, my resting heart rate. This has been worked out over time. 
But let's go ahead and stop that. I found it to be fairly accurate for a heart rate sensor, actually. But um, there is also the sport mode. The sport mode is where you'll do most of your sports tracking. There's things like running, walking, bike, hike, climbing, treadmill, yoga, and spinning. Not as many features as other smartwatches may offer, but definitely enough to get you started. There is no automatic starting for these, unfortunately. Uh, you can also set alarms, but these need to be done inside of the alarm app. Music control, same again. Whenever you're running music on your phone, it's very responsive. You can pause it, start and stop. There's also a timer, which completely locks the screen. I quite like that. You have to hold the side button down to uh, stop it. There is, of course, the notification panel. Unfortunately, when you receive notifications, you can't do much with them. You can read them, but that's about it. But let's have a, a little bit more of an explore. As I mentioned, the music settings can be set up in the app. And you've also got a timer there as well, which can be really useful. The alarms get set within your main app, and you can turn them on and off here if you decide to do so. I hadn't worked that out at this point, this was me just kind of poking around and having a look, but that is definitely something that has to be set within the app. There is no hold touch or anything like that. If you want to change the face, you'll do it in the settings, which I will do now. So inside of the settings, there is the dial button. Going into dial lets you choose from one of four. They aren't particularly great, none of them really. That first one is probably your best bet, unless you're feeling rather Christmassy, then you can have reindeer. So here we are, with this next to the Apple Watch. And you can definitely see where they've got their design cues from. They are very, very similar in design. Other than the back, obviously, the uh, Apple Watch has a few more sensors. But in terms of design, they are very similar in size, but not in weight. So here we are the Willful smartwatch. It is an absolutely gorgeous smartwatch for its price point. I would highly recommend it because it's cheap and it does what it says on the tin without doing too many advanced features. If this is your first smartwatch, this is a great place to start. I found its tracking to be slightly inaccurate at times compared to the Apple Watch, but this is definitely a good starting point for anyone looking to get into the smartwatch market. It's cheap, it's cheerful, and actually, I think rather stylish. Anyway guys, my name's been Robert, and this has been Review Clear.